At FormRatter, we have a lot of clients that write data into SharePoint from online forms with file attachments. Sometimes these attachments go into lists and people don't want them there as an end result. They really want them over in a document library or possibly they want the data as an attachment in the list and in a document library. Well, we figured out how to do this with Flow and I want to teach you. This also applies to people that don't use our software. Here are the topics we'll cover. First, we'll create a new Flow. Flow is a tool that Microsoft developed that snaps onto your SharePoint 365, it can also be tied into your on-prem SharePoint, that allows you to move things around and make things happen without programming. Secondly, we'll trigger that flow to start when an item is added to our list. Then we'll loop through each file attachment in a specific list record. And then finally, we'll write those attachments out to a document library. So I've gone into my SharePoint and I've navigated over to a list called Save to Email Test. And inside that list is data that we've been writing into SharePoint using FormRouter. And the data when it comes in has the first name, last name, and it also has in here a file attachment. So basically, We've set up a PDF form that submits and routes a copy of the whole PDF form and the data that was in the form. And that's going to come right here as an attachment into the list. Now, this is great, but not everybody wants to look at uh, the file attachment over here in the list. They may want this data also to be written into a document library. So to do that, we need to use Microsoft Flow. And up here, there's a little drop down box for Flow and you can see your flows if you already have some or you can click on create a flow and when that pops up it gives you these little templates to start a flow now i don't want to start with a template we're doing this from scratch so i'm going to click over here to see your flows and when it launches it tells you if there's any errors in any of your flows etc and i have a flow up here right now that's already created to do this and let me jump over to that to show you what it looks like. The reason I'm showing you the completed flow first is because this may be all you need. But if you need more, obviously you can watch the rest of this and I'm going to go step by step and show you how I did it. So basically, in this flow, the first item that we added was this action, which was when an item is created is the action type. And what we've done is selected our team site and we've selected our list and this is the list that a new item will be added to and when a new item is added to that list we want to trigger an action so that's what this first piece does secondly we want to get attachments so we went back to the same SharePoint site we went back to the same list and we went down here to ID and we snatched the ID for the specific list item um, record that's got the attachments. Then we wanted to do an apply to each. This is basically a loop that's going to loop through each attachment. So if there's more than one and what we're going to do is grab the attachment content. And again, we're selecting our team site and I'm going to select the list and then it needs an ID and a file identifier. And then finally, when you're done, we're going to create a file. That's the next action. Again, we're going to select our team site. Then I give it the path to a document library folder that I've already created. And then we tell it what name we want to give the file. I'm just going to give it the display name. That's the name it already has. And then I'm telling it as far as the content to use the attachment content. So let's go through and build this. Uh, for some of you, this is enough, but I'm going to take a step by step right from the beginning. We'll jump back to our list and inside the list, I'll click on flow. I can click on create a flow or see your flows if you already have some. Most people may not have a flow yet, so I'll just go to create a flow and then 
I will go down here to see your flows because what I really want to do is create a flow from blank. So we'll click on that and I can go here to create from blank but down here it already tells me when an item is created but I'm going to do it from scratch without just selecting the one that pops up because it may not be there for you. So I'll create from blank. And what they do is they try to pop up and give you all of these different options or popular options. We're going to create a flow that starts from SharePoint. So I clicked on that. And down here you can see when an item is created. Alternatively, you can start to type when an item is created here and it'll show it for you. But we're going to grab that trigger and it sets me up to define which site I want to pull from. So if I click on here, what I want to do is I just want to find my team site. So there it is. I just found my team site. And now I want to go find the list that we're going to apply this to, and it's my save to email test list. So what we're doing here is when an item is added, basically, or an item is created in this list inside of this team site, we want something to happen. And that thing we'd like to happen is a new step. And what we're going to do is add an action. And that action is going to be a SharePoint action again. And the SharePoint action we want is called Get Attachments. And here it is down here. Alternatively, you could type it up here. So we'll click on Get Attachments. And now we need to go through the same process. I need to go select my team site. I need to go in and select the list, which is right here. And then finally, we need to select the ID of the list item that was just created. So if I click in here and you go over to the right, you may not see the ID in here right away. There's a little button here and it says show more. And if I click it, the ID shows up and there it is, list item ID. So we'll select that. And now we can go ahead and we can add a new step. If you go over to the more here, because it's not really an action, it's a more, you will see add and apply to each. And basically the apply to each is a loop that's going to loop through each item that's found. And what we're doing is looping through to get attachments up here. So I'll add that in. The only option we're given when we click in here is body and body is going to contain the attachments that we loop through. So I'll select that. Then we've got to add in another action inside of the apply to each. And that action that we're going to add in is get attachment content. So I'll just start to type that in and see if it'll find it for me. And there it is, get attachment content. So basically this get attachment content is going to happen maybe more than once because it's going to happen each time an attachment is found. So we have to do the same thing here again. We've got to go in and we've got to select our team site. And then we need to go get our list name again. It's getting kind of repetitive. And down here, we need to get the ID again for that list item. And then we also need something called a file identifier. And that's going to be this ID with a lowercase d, the file identifier. The last part of our little loop that we want to add in is to actually create the file. 
So I'm going to add an action. And then down here, I could type in create. And that's going to hopefully find a create a file. And we want this to be inside of the SharePoint. And after we select it, we need to go in and, of course, select our team site. And then we get to put in a folder path. So for my folder path, I'll go find a folder that I already have in here. And I'll use a folder that I call test.lib. And then we need to add in a name of the file. And for the name of the file, I want to use the display name. That's the name that the file already has as an attachment inside of the list. This is an area where you might be able to fiddle or you might want to change how that name is created when the document is put over to the test doc lib. And then finally, for the file content, we want the attachment content to be in there. And when we're done with this, we can go in and we can save it. And it tells me up here at the top that it's been saved. And now we have a brand new flow ready to run. Now, something that's very interesting about Flow is that after you've saved your Flow, you can click up here and go to Test. And here, we know that this Flow has to be tested from the trigger action, which is a new record being added. So I could click on here, which means I'll perform that trigger action myself. I'll click Save and Test. And now it's kind of loaded up in test mode so that when I transmit data or add a new record with an attachment to my saved email test list, it's going to go through here and let me know that each step actually worked in my flow. So it's a great way to debug or troubleshoot a problem that you might have in your flow uh, without guessing. So let's give it a rip. I'm going to transmit some data through form router into my list with a file attachment. And when I do, it should trigger my flow to go off. And this interface should show me what happens next. And here we go. Boom, 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 boom. The green check marks tell me that all of the data cycled through. It also shows me that on my loop, only one file attachment was found. And to make sure everything went where it was supposed to, I'll go over to my list and you can see there's a brand new item in here that was just submitted in. And if I take a look, that list has an attachment on it that saved the email example and it ends in, ends in something CLAZ over here, .pdf. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to my test doc library and see if that file made it over there. And then lo and behold, there it is. There's the file. So we've successfully taken a file attachment from a list when it was created and copied it over. And there's my form that got copied over to the library. If you manage or use SharePoint and you find yourself needing to collect forms, such as PDF forms or HTML forms or Excel forms into your SharePoint lists or document libraries, please reach out to us here at FormRouter. You can find us at formrouter.com and we'd be happy to answer any questions you have and see if we can be of assistance. Thank you.